Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome of course back to the desk corner which is looking really clean right now only because I pushed the mess off to the side so it's out of the view of the camera. So it is looking clean at least on this side. So today I thought I would do a bit of a channel update. We are in the month of November currently and we're getting really close to the end of 2020 and there have been some things on my mind about um, future video ideas, future artwork ideas, and other things like that, and I just thought I would share it with you guys in today's video and just kind of talk about where the channel is going as of right now, and um, I'm not going to go too much into like next year. I think I'll probably make another channel update at the end of the year in December as well, um, because, you know, at the end of the year it just makes sense to do a channel update, and this one is going to be more um, about November and the month of December. If you see me looking down over here, it's because I have some notes that I wrote out so that I wouldn't forget anything because it's kind of a lot and I didn't want to have to refilm anything afterwards. So the first thing I wanted to mention was that we have recently reached 800 subscribers on this channel, yay, that's amazing. I wasn't expecting to get to 800 in November, honestly. Um, and I feel like it's growing kind of uh, quickly at this point and I feel like maybe by the end of 20, I'll have reached my goal of a thousand subscribers, which by the way was my goal for pretty much the entire 2020. And even I was like, I think it's a bit ambitious to think so because I didn't really think I would be able to reach a thousand by the end of 2020, but now it's looking a lot more doable. So thank you so much to all of you who are subscribed to my channel, or even if you've just watched a couple of my videos or left a comment or a like or anything like that, thank you so much. It's always appreciated and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying my videos. Don't forget to leave feedback on any videos or questions if you have any because they really help me to kind of mold ideas for future videos and figure out what it is that people want to see. That was the most important message to get across to you guys. Thank you so much for being subscribed to this channel or watching my videos. Um, and now that that's out of the way, I want to talk a little bit about the month of November, which by the time this video goes up, it's pretty much almost over anyways. So October being a really hectic month for me, and then December being hectic between holidays and art and videos and all sorts of things, um, I wanted to take November as a little bit of more, a little bit of a chill month and a little bit of more of an easygoing schedule. So I don't want to give myself too many deadlines and I really don't want to burn myself out at this point right now because I'm going to have a lot planned for December um, along with holiday season, so it's going to be a little bit hectic. So I have been taking things slow this month and that's why you probably haven't seen as much artwork from me. Um, I'm working on a colored pencil piece that is just kind of taking a while because I'm really taking my time with it, but you will see it in a video at some point this month, don't worry. Okay, sorry, I had to change my camera battery. I never really pay attention to it and realize when it's almost out of battery. Um, but about the colored pencil piece, so that's not going to be the only piece of like the entire month. I've already done one illustration that took me a couple hours and I think I'm going to do another one that takes me a couple hours so that I can at least get it done in a day and then post it as a video. But I think I'm rambling a little bit too much and November is really not that interesting. I'm not going to be doing a ton. What I really wanted to talk about in today's video is December. Usually my go-to in December is to just create like Christmas, holiday, or winter related characters and things like that. That's something I like to do in October is create Halloween related characters or just drawings in general, just themes. Um, but this December, I'm not really sure if that's something I want to do entirely. I still want to keep the winter theme. So what I was thinking of doing was kind of like a series of animals. I mean, nothing um, like it could be different mediums. It doesn't have to be like an actual series that relates to each other too much. But I was thinking of just doing some winter related animals. I know that penguins are something that are on my list. If you guys have any other animal ideas, let me know in the comments below because I'm curious to see what you guys think of as well. Um, but some of you might have seen in October, I created a video where I talked about and showed all of my spooky and horror and Halloween drawings. And if you did see that one, you know that there were a lot of scary ones. But for December, I actually have um, quite a collection of December, Christmas, holiday related drawings as well. And if you're interested in a video where I show all of my artwork from previous Decembers and Christmases and all of those characters, then let me know and I will also make a video showcasing all of my previous artwork. So I also am really excited about doing a couple of channel upgrades, which is going to happen at the end of the year. Um, I told myself I would do it around a thousand subscribers anyway, but it also happens to 
um, coincide with Christmas, so I'm probably going to treat myself to some channel upgrades here, so you should be expecting some better lighting and things like that going forwards on my channel. I currently use natural light, which looks really good some of the time, then it starts to get a little bit darker and then you just really can't see what's going on. And I do have this um, light, I have a couple lights like this, but they just create really harsh spotlights, so I wanted something bigger that would create more of an even spread of light and not just harsh spotlights like this does. But that's probably not super interesting to you guys, but what might be interesting is my other Christmas present that I'm going to be getting myself, which is a couple of new art supplies. And some of them have been requested or um, I've been informed of them on this channel and I didn't know of them before. There's one that was released this year and I didn't know about that one either for the longest time. So I'm gonna read the list of what I have so far um, on my Christmas list to myself for art supplies and then you guys let me know if there's anything else that you think that I should buy um, as a new art supply because I am going to be reviewing and probably unboxing and doing like a demonstration once I actually receive these supplies so I'm going to be doing videos on this channel for that. I wanted to do more review videos on this channel too and not just like tutorial related content so let me go ahead and read you guys the list of what I have so far. So I have the Stadler, I think you say Stadler, Lumograph Mars um, set which I believe is a carbon mixed with graphite. I'm not really sure what it is but people talk about the Lumograph Mars black set and have really good things to say about that. I also have just some Stadler graphite pencils on the list because they actually go up to 12B and the set that I have, which is Faber-Castell, goes up to 8B so I'm curious to see how their 9 through 12B perform. So I'm going to be getting those ones as well. I probably won't get the entire graphite set because it would be a waste as I don't use most of the H range but I'll probably pick and choose which pencils I want to try from them. There have been multiple people on both my YouTube and my Instagram who have recommended the Stadler sets to me, so to those of you who did, thank you for the recommendation. I will definitely be purchasing and trying those out because I'm super curious about them now. I've heard so many good things about them, and I'll probably end up doing a comparison video to the Faber-Castell ones once I kind of get used to the Stadler ones and um, practice with them a bit. But for the next thing on the list, it is the Caran d'Ache Luminance Portrait Colored Pencil Set, which is new release um, this year, I believe, and it comes with 20 portrait-related colors, not skin tones, just portrait-related colors, so it'll have like blue tones and other things like that. It also um, apparently comes with four loose pencils that aren't part of the package, or maybe you actually have to buy those ones separately. Um, and I kind of don't like that because it means that they're not going to fit in the packaging and that makes me nervous that I would somehow lose the four extra ones because I do keep my Caran d'Ache pencils in their original box and their original box is really nice too so I like having them in there. Um, but anyways, so I'm really excited for that because the original Caran d'Ache set comes with 76 pencils which is a lot less than like the Polychromo set is and a lot of other pencil sets like Prismacolor so it's exciting to get some new colors that fill in the gaps to what they didn't really have before and I'm really excited to get that. Let's just really hope that they don't go out of stock before I want to purchase them. I'll get them eventually either way but um, I hope that they don't go out of stock because they were out of stock for the longest time when I first started seeing the videos come up about them and people doing like swatches and things like that. They were already out of stock at that point so let's hope they don't go out of stock again. Another thing I want to try out is the Strathmore um, Bristol 500 series paper because I've always been using the 300 series, like the yellow pads of Bristol Smooth or Bristol Vellum, and as I go to replace my Bristol Smooth or Vellum pad, whichever one I need to replace, I'm wondering if I should upgrade to a Strathmore 500 series um, paper pad. I'm just not really sure exactly what the differences are, so I have to look into that. Um, if any of you have used both before, let me know which one you think is better or if they feel the same to you. Um, but I'm probably going to try that out because surprisingly I've never tried that paper before. And the last thing on my list are the Van Gogh watercolors, which are technically student grade watercolors and I want to buy the half pans of course, um, probably 12 or 24 colors, nothing too intense because you can always mix with watercolors. Um, but I currently only have the Windsor & Newton Cotman set, which to me Eh, it's, it's okay and I've used it for the past few years but the colors to me are a little bit transparent for my liking and a little bit hard to build up and that could just be me. 
and how I don't use watercolor enough and practice with it enough, but I'm also out of a lot of the colors or almost close to being out of them, so I figured it's time to try something different, and I've heard some good things about the Van Gogh set. Now, yes, I did um, contemplate getting an artist grade watercolor set, but me not being a watercolor artist, I looked at the prices and I was like, no. <laughs> me being a pencil artist, I spend all my money mostly on the pencils and I don't have extra cash for expensive watercolors as well, especially because for me watercolor is more of like a fun thing that I don't do as often, so it would be a little bit of a waste of money for me, but I do want to get more into watercolor and practice my techniques because I am not at the level that I want to be with watercolor. As I said, I'm not a watercolor artist, I just like to play around with it, and I've heard good things about the Van Gogh set, so I'm probably going to go with that one. It's not too expensive either. There you have it, that's my list. If you have any other recommendations or suggestions, please leave a comment down below and let me know, and I will look into it. So to wrap December up, you're probably going to be seeing videos of me doing animal drawings, maybe a video of me showing my past December, Christmas, holiday themed artwork if you guys want to see something like that. And um, additionally, I might do like Christmas cards for family and friends like I did last year again, and I'll just have to think of what design I want to do for them this year. So those are the types of videos you're probably going to see next month. Probably um, the animal ones will be made into like tutorials or something informative like that, and that's what you should expect to see in the month of December. And then of course, if I get all those art supplies at the end of December, there will be a lot of reviews early 2021. And then as I said, I'm not gonna go too much into 2021 in this update. We'll save it for the next update, I think. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is going at this point, but we'll save it for next update because I haven't really figured it all out either. But I think that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my Instagram handle here. It's Alexis Cassandra Art. And I am going to be doing some like polls and things like that on my story. Things just to like help me choose what exactly I want to draw up and different ideas. So if you do want to be a part of that, definitely follow me on there if you aren't already. And I'm going to try to post a little bit more often as well, but I usually just use a story feature on there. I guess I also wanted to mention that I don't want this channel to be only tutorials. And I love making the tutorials and helping people out, things like that. Um, but tutorials are a little bit time consuming to make because they require a lot of like planning ahead of time and um, just a lot of like precision when you're doing a tutorial versus another type of video is a little bit more laid back and relaxed. So I am going to of course continue doing tutorials on this channel. I just want to expand and do other things as well like reviews and other types of videos. So if you have any requests or ideas for videos, let me know, again, in the comments below. I think I'm gonna leave off here. I've already been talking and talking and talking a lot in this video, um, and I don't want to ramble on about 2021 when I haven't really planned it out very well. I'm also trying not to plan too far in advance anymore. That's one thing that 2020 has taught me is the future is kind of uncertain, so I'm kind of just planning one month at a time and sometimes just like a couple weeks at a time at this point. Um, but I do have December planned for the most part. I'm just not going to try and go and plan 2021 yet. And again, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos, commenting on my videos if you do comment. If you don't comment, I'm still grateful that you come back and watch my videos. If you're subscribed to my channel, if you even share my videos, I can't thank you guys enough for that. I'm really excited about reaching 800 subscribers and being so close to 1,000 as we near the end of 2020. And it's really amazing to me. Um, and having a YouTube channel just is kind of a lot of like work compared to, I guess, other types of social media like Instagram and things like that. And I don't even know if YouTube is really social media. It does take a lot more work, but it's so much fun. So when you see that um, more people are watching your videos, enjoying your videos, asking questions or commenting and things like that, it really is exciting because there is so much work that goes into YouTube behind the scenes, even for a short video like this one with all the filming and editing and everything and posting, it does take a long time, but it really is worth it um, when you see that people are enjoying your content. But that's about it for now, so thank you if you did watch this video all the way to the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!